Hey guys, so I'm back with another video and no, this is not a Halloween video yet. Um, but my set is going to be up for the whole month of October. So whenever I'm filming in October, this is what you guys are going to see. Um, <clears throat> so I'm actually going to be doing this makeup look. It's a super pretty, just daytime every, not I mean, every day, I guess, makeup look. And it was something super simple, something super easy. This is actually kind of like a base for the actual Halloween that look that I'm going to do. But I wanted to also um, use this to use like a nice glam, like light glam makeup look. Super simple, easy makeup look. And I'm going to be using some products that I was sent. Salvana. This is the box that all the products came in. Um, I'm going to be featuring some products from their line and then I will actually be back at the end of the video to give you guys my thoughts and my opinions on all the products that I used from um, the box that they sent me. Um, Before we hop into the video, don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up this video if you end up liking it. Also turn your notifications on so you do not miss an upload. That's the benefit of subscribing and hitting that little bell. You always get alerted every time I upload a video, even if I am not on your mind, honey. Um, but yeah, let's hop into the video. Let's go through these products. I'm gonna show you guys the entire look, my skin and everything like that. And then I will be back at the end of the video to show you guys um, the products one by one and give you guys my thoughts on each product. Okay, so I'm starting out with one of my eyes kind of already done. The first shade that I'm going into is the Kahlu Kahlua shade from the One Shot Palette. This is the Day Drink one. I will show you guys the product at the end of the video. But I am going in with the first kind of matte brown shade. And then on my lid, I am going in with the shade Cognac and applying that all over my lid. I want this look to be super blended, not like the normal cut crease that I usually do. Next, I'm going to go in with the gold, which is called Bacardi. And I'm just going to be applying that with my finger. I do wish that I had a little bit of glitter glue and then applied this, but it still ended up looking pretty. So not too bad. Next, I'm going to go in with the lighter shade, which is called Malibu, and I am just going to go in and blend it out. And side note, I just noticed that makes so much sense. One shot eyeshadow palette and all of these drinks are alcoholic beverages. Just noticed that. Anyway, next I'm going to go in with the Black Radiance Orange Corrector, and I'm going to apply that just to kind of like the dark spots of my face and blend that out. All the brushes that I'm using today are from Sedona Lace. I will have them linked down below as well as all the products that I'm mentioning in this video. And I just blend that out with a brush first and then my beauty blender just to make sure it's nice and seamless. Then I'm going to kind of set my primer which I did apply off camera. Um, and this corrector I'm using the Beauty Bakery Almond Flower Setting Powder. foundation I'm going in with the MAC Pro Longwear waterproof foundation in the shade NC50 um, I haven't used this foundation in a while but it is one of my favorites um, especially one that matches me pretty much exactly as you guys can tell and I'm just again gonna blend that out with a brush first and then I go in with my beauty blender just to um, help blend it out and look at make it look more airbrushed this is kind of how I've been liking to apply my foundation lately is using a brush and then finishing it off with the beauty blender next I'm gonna go in with the Too Faced Born This Way concealer I believe this shade is in the shade chestnut and I'm gonna use that to highlight underneath my eyes and then I'm gonna go in with the Juvia's Place Concealer in the shade number 6, I believe. It's not the shade number 4, I believe it's shade number 6 to use as my contour. And I'm just going to blend that out first and then I go in and blend out my concealer second. Next, I'm going in with the B 
Beauty Bakery setting powder within in the shade Plantain and I'm just using that to set underneath my eye and all the highlighted points. I am using a brush for this. I told you guys that I have been liking going back to applying my setting powders with a brush underneath my eyes. Um, especially underneath my eyes because I just feel like it just cakes up less and it doesn't look all patchy as to when I use actually my beauty blender so that's why I'm doing that if you guys haven't seen me doing that a lot in recent videos now I'm going to align my borderline I am using the one from the box that came in the style Vina box this is the born to be uh, Mad Proof Thin Pencil Liner in Deep Black, which I actually really, really like. I will give you guys my thoughts on it at the end of the video, but I really, really like how it looks um, and feels as well. Super, super smooth. And then I'm just going to go in and kind of start tying the look together from that same palette. I'm using the Baca Espresso shade, kind of like the deepest brown in the palette just to kind of you know smoke up that bottom just a little bit not too much I do still want to keep this pretty daytime friendly now I'm gonna go in and set the rest of my face using that same powder the Beauty Bakery almond setting powder um, and applying that all over my face just so everything melts together and just looks so flawless I love these setting powders from Beauty Bakery by the way Now I'm going to go in with this champagne shade, which that's actually the shade of, of this particular color in the palette. It's called Champagne. I'm going to use that as my inner tear duct highlight, just something light and not too bright. And yeah. I'm going to contour using my normal Black Radiance Contour Palette in the shade Medium to Dark. And I just use the contour shade. Next, I'm going to go into the blush palette. This is Afternoon Tea, and I use the shade Hibiscus Tea, and I just apply that um, is it Hibiscus Tea or Chai Tea. Hmm. I think it's Hibiscus Tea, but it's the deepest one in the palette um, that I use for my blush. I'm going to go and line my lips. I'm using the MYX lip pencil in the shade Espresso to line my lips before I go in with my actual lip shade, which is going to be from the Stalvana box as well. This is the shade Corinco. I'm pretty sure I'm saying that super wrong. Um, and the shade that I'm using is M02. This actually came out super pretty. I was really, really, really surprised. Okay, so this is the final look that I came up with as you guys saw in the beginning of the video. Super simple, super easy. All the products that I mentioned, I'm going to be mentioning are pretty affordable and I will have them linked down in the description box as well. But first, so I have one, two, three, four, five products to go through with you guys. So it's gonna be really, really quick. Um, the first thing that I'm gonna go through is the One Shot Eye Shadow Palette. It has six shades, um, three mattes, three shimmers, um, shades in it. And it's super small and compact. It looks like this. The shades are pretty, they're kind of cool tone to me, especially like this shade and like this this and this I feel like it's really cool not on the warmer side I feel like they're cooler browns and like neutral shades so I kind of want to say this is like a cool toned palette but it is a really really nice palette the shades are really really good actually um, better than I actually expected you definitely need a primer for these I'm not gonna say use these without a primer concealer something like that glitter glue something underneath you definitely need it um, to apply these but I use that anyway so it wasn't that big of a deal I really really enjoyed this kind of gold shade just to give like a nice coat right in that middle area there so I do like this palette it was so nice they apply like they feel super like soft they're not hard very easy to blend all together so definitely like this palette again it will be linked down below all the products are um, 
all the items will be list listed down in the description box. Um, a lot of these, um, they are in, you know, <clears throat> hold on if I can show you guys, like, languages on the back but it does have like some english on the back like the shady names and things like that but the ingredients and everything they are in korean so i can't give you too much about what's in it because i don't know but if that stuff is important to you guys then obviously you can dig deeper into that but they do have the names of the shades on the back of the palette the name of the palette is in english and things like that so if you are in korea you definitely get your hands on it, it is definitely a go-to if you are not you can still get your hands on it. It's really, really, really good. Really cool, simple, everyday kind of go-to simple palette for work, a really easy date night, stuff like that. So, next is the, I'll go to this palette. This is the Classic Collection um, palette. This is Afternoon Tea. Um, it's three shades, all matte blushes. Obviously, I use this one. This is one that, that would probably show up best on me. Pretty much these two. This one isn't going to show up that great on me because it's a little too light. But if you are of a lighter complexion, this will be a very pretty, like, flush color. But I actually really, really like this shade. It's super pretty. Really, like, you guys aren't really picking it up on camera, but off camera, it's just, not, like, a nice flush of color. If you just want a little, a little blush, something just to liven you up a little bit really like this i love matte blushes so this palette is really really nice again i only um i only can really use these two i can probably use this for something else like an eyeshadow or something like that but as far as blushes i feel like these two will suit me like deeper tones best um from this particular palette but it is nice definitely um really nice pickup i do go in with heavy handed with this particular bus so I dipped it a few times to get like the kind of payoff that I wanted so I did um, double dip a few times not double dip but I really worked my brush in and then got the payoff that I wanted so it's not like I won't say the payoff is the best hold on like like the payoff isn't bad like you can see that's the swipe of the one that I used this is the swipe of the paler one and then this is the one in the middle so it's not bad payoff, but <clears throat> I wanted a lot of blush. So I really went in with it. Next um, is the eyeliner. This is the Thin Pencil line, um, Mad Proof Born to Be Aligner. It is in black. Um, I do like it. It's really soft, almost like when you apply it, it looks wet, but it's not wet, but it dries down very, very matte. Really, really smooth. Definitely gonna add this. I love black liners. Like, I don't care where they come from. I love black eyeliners. So, I definitely get in deep when it comes to black eyeliners. So, I actually really, really like that liner. It was super smooth. And then this particular, the last thing I got was this gel liner. Um, this is the McQueen New York Waterproof Pencil Gel in the shade. Uh, you can't see the name of the shade. Actually, it might be on the shade name. I will have it listed down below because it's not in English, but the box looks like this. And it's a really nice bronze shade. I didn't use it in the video because it didn't go, but it's, it kind of matches the bronze that's in the actual palette, but it's literally so pretty. I, kinda, I probably could have used this as a base for that shade, but I didn't. But this bronze, it's so pretty and so soft and smooth. So pencil was really nice as well. Now, to this lippy, this is the Corniqua, I'm pretty sure I'm saying that all jacked up, but again, all the products will be listed down below, and this is in the shade M02. Okay, so when I saw the color, I was like, girl, not me. Renell who? Renell gonna wear this where? Um, I, so first of all, I like the packaging. It kind of like, it's like magnetic. Um, when they come together, like it just, it like, snaps together so i really really like that i hope that's like the new the new wave of how lips are going to be because i just really like how it just pulls together like that so the color for me i was like a little thrown back but i was like you know let me get a little brown liner and really work it and i really liked how it looked this isn't a shade that i would normally pick up i feel like this gives me like i don't know you know like when you drink kool-aid and then your lips are just red in the middle i feel like it gives me that but it looks nice i like how it looks it's super soft super comfortable on the lips um it's matte 
which you guys know I'm always here for a matte lip. So I do like this. I will definitely be wearing this and this actually makes me want to try out more shades like this. It's such a pretty color um, applied. Like that's just so freaking pretty. So freaking pretty, but again, not a normal color that I would actually like go to, but I like it. Um, so that is it for all the products that I received from Salvana. Um, again, if you guys are interested in, I believe I have a coupon code for you guys. If I do, I will have it listed here and down in the description box. So definitely check out these products if you guys are interested. And yeah, that is it for the video. Thank you guys so much for stopping in and checking out my channel. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.